heartburn, headaches, insomnia, stress and anxiety, these may all be signs that it's time for a diet do-over. Today we're going to go over each individually, symptoms that you may be experiencing, foods to avoid, and the foods that you need to start eating to get back on track. All that and more coming up next. All right, let's jump right on into this. Insomnia, if you suffer from insomnia, as I do from time to time, there's no need in going over the symptoms because you probably have experienced all of them. Symptoms include difficulty falling asleep, waking up in the middle of the night, waking up too early, and not even feeling rested after a night's sleep. These symptoms of insomnia are an absolute nightmare from those suffering from the condition. However, there are a few things that you can do to minimize your insomnia and possibly even make it go away by just changing a few things about your diet. Let's start with foods to avoid. These are gonna include caffeine, of course, nightshade vegetables, including white potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, bell peppers, cayenne pepper, and paprika. Also alcohol, aged cheese, cured meats, fermented food, sugar, and most refined foods. You're going to want to replace these foods with foods that can help minimize insomnia, such as walnuts, bananas, tart cherry juice, and basil. And you'll be back to sleeping like a baby in no time. Now let's go over heartburn. Most common heartburn symptoms are going to include stomach pain, upper abdominal burning, chest pain, difficulty swallowing, and a chronic cough. Pain from heartburn can get quite unbearable quite quickly. So let's look at some of the foods to avoid and some foods to eat to help improve those horrible heartburn symptoms that nobody should have to experience. Foods you want to avoid include fried and fatty foods, tomatoes, citrus fruit, garlic, spicy foods, onions, mint, and I'm very sorry to say, chocolate. After having eliminated chocolate, you'll be glad to hear that foods that you can eat are pretty tasty. They'll include things such as ginger, non-acidic vegetables, oatmeal, non-citrus fruit, lean meat, egg whites, and healthy fats. Pharmacist pro tip, if you're not able to get your heartburn to go away with these dietary changes, make sure and reach out to your healthcare provider because there could be something else going on. Do you suffer from stress and anxiety with symptoms such as a lot of acne, headache, rapid heartbeat, sweating, chronic pain, low energy, insomnia, depression, and digestive distress? It could be what you're eating. Let's take a look at some foods to avoid. When you feel stressed and anxious, you're going to want to avoid eating refined sugars, tofu, Chinese takeout, caffeine, wheat bran, and diet sodas. Foods that you're going to want to eat to make stress and anxiety just melt away include bananas, spinach, olive oil, oats, salmon, strawberries, chamomile tea, dark chocolate and nuts, and all of these foods are absolutely delicious, so let's thank nature for that one. And lastly, we have headaches. We probably have all had a headache at some point in time or another. And the symptoms are usually a dull, aching head pain, tightness or pressure across the forehead to behind the eyes or back of the neck. If you get headaches on a regular basis, some foods you may want to try avoiding are any kind of diet drink. Soy sauce, MSG, alcohol, especially cured meats and cheeses. And you're probably going to want to stay away from gum also. And to really nip those headaches in the bud, start eating more pumpkin seeds, potato skins, cherries, cucumbers, chili peppers, and complex carbohydrates. I hope watching this short video helped inspire you to do a diet do-over to get rid of your headache, heartburn, insomnia, and stress and anxiety. If you tried any of these diet do-overs, leave it in the comments below. I'm curious to how they have worked for you guys and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I put out new videos each and every week so you can all stay in the best health possible. Until next time, have a beautiful day, and as always, stay curious.